Wonderful. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Marin, and we are going to do a one hour vinyasa flow class. So everybody has the music. One hour flow seven under my Spotify, Marin Leah. So I'm going to count down um, from three and when I hit one, we're going to take a pause and then press play. Okay, everybody ready? This is an awesome group. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, play. And that is that first song is at the mercy of the waves. Okay, let's begin in child's pose. Knees out wide, big toes to touch in the back. Your chest and belly sinking down between your knees. And you can either walk your hands forward, forehead comes down, or maybe if you're feeling too much in your shoulders or your hips, you can bring your knees closer together. Let your forehead come down and your shoulders drop down and then reach back and grab your heels. That's embryo's pose. So just start to settle in here, coming into your own space. Notice your Tuesday morning body. Without changing it, just notice your breath. And just arrive on your mat. There was a study done, I believe in 2016, out of the University of Pittsburgh. And what they found was there is a deep connection between the brain and how we control our large movements, our balance, using our core muscles in the axial skeleton, between that and the adrenal glands. And the adrenal glands is what mediates our stress. So what this study found is that engaging our core muscles, that's our belly muscles, keeping them engaged and doing different movements with our core. So not just crunches, not just CrossFit movements repeatedly, doing different large movements using our core and engaging our bellies actually helps stress. So while a lot of people felt like working out means endorphins and that's why we feel happy after we work out, there's so much more to that that yoga provides, not just the endorphins, but we are constantly engaging our core constantly pulling it up and in during this practice. And it is that movement and that engagement that also contributes to lowering stress, anxiety. So think about that today when I ask you to maybe engage a little bit more, pull your belly up and in, maybe it feels uncomfortable, you feel tired, that's okay. Try to lean into the discomfort be present and know that you're doing your brain good. Start to feel your breath deepen here. Feel your inhales lift and expand you. Feel your exhales drop your chest closer to the floor. Let's take a few deep full breaths together as a community. Inhale deeply through your nose. And then open your mouth and let it go. One more, just like that. Inhale deeply and completely through your nose. And then open your mouth and just sigh it out. 
Now gently close your lips. Inhale deeply and completely through your nose. And then exhale deeply and completely through your nose, constricting the back of your throat as that air flows through you. This is Ujjayi Pranayama breath, in through your nose and out through your nose. It should sound like the ocean inside of your head. So it's a loud breathing, almost a Darth Vader breathing. This breath is so important to this class because it keeps our mind on the mats, but it also keeps the fire burning within us. So when you exhale, exhale so completely that your lower belly sucks in and up. Beautiful. Now keep that engagement, the Uddiyana Bandha. With your next inhale, walk your hands in towards your body and come up onto all fours your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Inhale, drop your belly, spread your chest, look up, cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, cat pose. Inhale, arch your back, spread your chest, look up. Exhale, push your palms down, push your spine. Remember, toes can be tucked or untucked. One more round, inhale, arch. And then exhale, round. Now come to a neutral spine, a flat back. With your inhale, reach your right arm out in front of you and then left leg back behind you. You can always bring your toes down if you need the extra stability. With your exhale, bring your elbow into your knee so you're engaging your core, you're squeezing it all in. Inhale, send it long. Exhale, squeeze it in again. Inhale, send it long. And then exhale, set it down on the mat, neutral spine. Inhale, your left arm reaches forward, right leg straight back. So you're engaging your right glute, get that heel up high. Exhale, squeeze it in, pull everything in. Inhale, send it long. And then exhale, squeeze it in again. Inhale, send it long. And then exhale, set it back down on the mat. Start to sway your hips side to side. I urge you to close your eyes and take any movements that your body is craving. Maybe you roll out your neck, you can turn your palms around, tuck your toes to stretch the bottoms of your feet. You do you here. Any movement you need, maybe some twists. And over the next five or so breaths, Come back to a neutral spine, a flat back. From this neutral spine, tuck your toes under. With your inhale, lift your knees just to a hover. So you're turning on your belly again. Remember that lower belly sucks in and up. You're pushing your palms down like they're rebounding off of the earth. One more inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, right into your first downward facing dog. Deep, full breaths here. You can start to walk out your feet, bending one knee at a time. Think about linking breath to movement, connecting to your hamstrings, like there's weights on the backs of your heels, pulling them down towards the ground. Every inhale, think about your tailbone tilting upwards. Every exhale, press your chest closer to your thighs. And push down in your palms, that spot between your first finger and thumb, the, that muscle there. Think about hollowing out your armpits in this downward facing dog. So you're really pushing the floor away from you. Start to come to stillness. Inhale, come up high on your toes. Exhale, heels down towards the mat. Remember, they don't have to touch. Inhale, come up high on your toes. Look between your hands. And with your exhale, tiptoe your way up to the top of your mat. Once you get there, step your feet two fists distance apart. You can measure using your fists. And then grab your elbows, sway side to side. You can keep a deep bend in your knees if you'd like. And shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake it yes again. Picture all the weight of your upper body pulling the crown of your head down towards the floor. You can even interlace your fingers behind your head, 
letting the weight of your arms pull you down further. Deep, full breaths. Start to come to stillness. With your next exhale, let your hands come down to the floor. Now heel toe your feet a little bit closer, maybe your big toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Your hands can come to your shins or your thighs. Exhale, forward fold, a little bit deeper this time. Inhale, roll up to standing. So take a deep bend in your knees. Your head comes up last. And then once you get there, reach your arms up, look up. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart, samasitihi. Soften your gaze or close your eyes right here. And let's set our intention for this beautiful practice. What do you want to walk away with? Why are you here today? We're all working on something personally, especially now. So make it a positive phrase. I am strong. I will get through this. Whatever it is, it is yours and keep it with you. Let's take a deep breath together right here. Inhale deeply through your nose. And open your mouth, sigh it out. Flutter open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Now with your exhale, grab your left wrist with your right hand and pull to the right. So you're opening up your left side body turning your chest upwards and gently push into your left foot. Inhale, come back to center, switch out your grip. Exhale, side bend to the left, gently pushing into your right foot. Inhale, come back to center, release your hands back behind you, fingertips can face down or up. Now press into your lower back as you inhale, get length, so stand taller. And as you exhale, lean back as you press your hips forward. You don't have to go far. This is nice and supported. Inhale, slowly start to stand back up. Exhale, forward fold as your hands trace the backs of your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, your hands come down. Step, one foot at a time, back to a high plank. That's a push-up. So again, we're engaging our core, squeezing it in, pushing our palms down so much that our shoulder blades are rounded and that spot in between it, between them is pushed up towards the ceiling, yeah. So again, your belly is engaged. If you'd like to drop your knees, you can. With your exhale, start to bend into your elbows towards your sides, come to a hover and hold it there. Now release down onto your belly, untuck your toes, tops of your feet come down towards the floor. Bring your palms beside your ribs here. With your inhale, gently push into the floor, lift your chest. Exhale, forehead comes down. Let's do one more, just like that, keeping your elbows bent. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, forehead comes down. You can do the exact same thing again, or walk your palms by your lower ribs. With your inhale, lift your chest, start to straighten your arms, and then maybe you push the tops of your feet into the floor so much your thighs lift up, upward facing dog. If you want to drop your knees down, you can. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. A few deep, full breaths right here. Remember those loud, ujjayi breaths. And remember right here, you're pulling up on your lower belly. Inhale, come up high on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up to standing, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, back to center. This time, goal post your arms, take a baby back bend. Exhale, hands through your heart center and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. Step or jump back to high plank and then low plank. If you jump, one swift motion. Inhale, pull your chest through. The tops of your feet come down, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes. Hips go to the sky, downward facing dog. Now remember, this is your practice. So if at any point... You don't want to do something, don't do it. If it doesn't work for your body, 
Don't do it. This is your practice alone. I don't know your body better than you do. So I encourage you to try things that are difficult, to maybe let yourself feel the discomfort of some of the poses. But remember, this is all your hour, not my hour. Deep, full breaths right here. Inhale, come up high on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up to standing. Arms reach up, look up. Exhale, side bend to the right. This is our last sun A, make it count. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. This warms up the spine. Inhale, back to center, take a baby back bend. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. Step or jump back, vinyasa. Or if ever you've had enough of the vinyasas, maybe in your shoulders, just meet us in downward facing dog. That is always an option. Inhale, come up high on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, travel back to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now bend your knees and then inhale, reach your arms up, look up, chair pose. So notice that you can see your toes. Make sure your knees are not covering your toes so that they're not swinging forward. You're pulling them back. Tailbone is tucked under, chest is lifted, fingertips are reaching. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And now twist to the right, hooking your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Sit down just a little lower. All your weight is back towards your heels. Now look down, is your left hip pulling forward? Do you see your left knee pulling forward? Pull it back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands to your heart and twist to the left. I know it's uncomfortable. I know you feel it in your thighs, that's okay. Is your right knee pulling forward? Bring it back. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, vinyasa. Inhale, right leg lifts high to the sky. So you're engaging your right glute. Your right toes are pointed down, or maybe you have a doll foot here where you're pushing the ball of your foot away from you. That engages your leg. Exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose. Squeeze it in. So you're engaging your core again. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, your right knee to your right elbow. Get it up high. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, your knee across your body to your left elbow. Inhale, send it back. And then exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose and gently step your foot between your hands. You might need to use your hands to get your foot there, that's okay. Now dial your back heel down. Inhale, lift your chest and then reach back behind you. Interlace your fingers and lift your chest up towards the ceiling. There's a deep bend in your front knee. Deep, full breaths here. Think back bend, and you're pushing your knuckles towards the floor behind you. One more inhale. Exhale, start to hinge forward and wind your shoulders over your head, humble warrior. So you're snuggling your right shoulder on the inside of your right thigh. Deep, full breaths. You don't have to go far here, right? You don't have to go far to feel it, so you do you. Next, inhale, let your left hand come down on the inside of your right knee. Come up on your back toes, and then reach your right fingertips up towards the ceiling, dragonfly twist. Let your hips sink down a little bit. Notice if they're high up, you still have that deep bend in your front knee. And then lean back like there's a wall behind you. You're opening up your heart towards the ceiling, taking a deep twist. One more inhale. Exhale, your right hand comes down. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Vinyasa, always optional. We meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Exhale, knee in towards your nose. Squeeze it in. Inhale, send it back. Engaging that glute. Exhale, your knee goes to the same elbow first, so left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, across. Remember, you're engaging all corners of your belly here. Inhale, send it back. And then exhale, gently step your foot between your hands. Dial that back heel all the way down. Inhale, lift up, reach back behind you, interlace your fingers. Maybe you interlace
place the other way, so the, like the more uncomfortable way, the way you don't do it naturally. Inhale, lift your chest and breathe. Remember, you're pushing your knuckles back behind you towards the floor, squeezing your shoulder blades together. One more inhale. Exhale, start to hinge forward, winding your shoulders overhead, snuggling your left shoulder in towards your left thigh. And breathe, humble warrior. Try to push down on the, to the pinky side of your back foot so you're still engaging your back leg. And then bend your front knee a little bit more. Oh yeah, deep full breaths. Next, inhale, let your right hand come down on the inside of your left foot. Come on your back toes and then reach your left fingertips up, opening up your fingers like energy is shooting out of them. Leaning back, opening up your chest, taking this deep twist. One more inhale. Exhale, your left hand comes down. Step your left foot back to meet your right, vinyasa. Come back to your breath if you've lost it. Where is your mind right now? Inhale, come up high on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up, chair pose. All your weight is back towards your heels. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist to the right. Maybe you flower open your arms this time. Inhale, back to chair center. Exhale, hands to your heart and twist to the left. Any variation with your arms. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, forward fold as you straighten your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, vinyasa. So every time you're in that high plank to low plank, make sure you're engaging your belly. So you're always squeezing it in. Beautiful, deep, full breaths. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee in towards your nose, squeeze. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to the right. Inhale back, exhale across. Inhale back, exhale, step it through. Back heel dials down. Inhale, everything lifts, fingertips grasp back behind you, go back to the comfortable way. And then exhale, hinge forward. Release your hands, left hand plants. Inhale, dragonfly twist, right fingertips reach up. Exhale, right hand comes down, step it back, vinyasa. If you've noticed, we're doing one breath to one movement this round. If you wanna linger in a pose that's your prerogative, you can. If you wanna go faster, you can do that too. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee in, squeeze. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to the left. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee in and step it through, back heel down. Inhale, the comfortable way with your fingers. Reach up. Exhale, your chest roots down towards the floor. Release your hands, left palm plants. Inhale, dragonfly, you're reaching. Exhale, left hand comes down. Vinyasa, where's your core? Squeeze. Remember, that is your ticket here. Deep, full breaths. Inhale, are we on left? I think so, left leg lifts. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, left side. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale back, exhale, step it through. Inhale, chest lifts, exhale, hinge. Inhale, dragonfly, oh, we did that already, and then hand comes down, vinyasa. Hey, you know, a little extra. Deep, full breaths right here in this downward facing dog. Beautiful, guys those loud breaths. 
So right here in the downward facing dog, pull your belly up and in, and then pull up on the base of your spine. That's the mula bandha. Downward dog is a perfect spot to do that. So you're pulling up, that engagement creates energy inside of you and engagement throughout this whole practice. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Exhale, knee in towards your nose and then step it through. Now stay high on your back toes. Inhale, your arms reach up, deep bend in your front knee, crescent lunge. So you're high up on your back toes, deep bend in that front knee, your chest is lifted, fingertips, think about your pinkies turning in here, so you're engaging your arms. Now your back knee can come down if you need a break. Remember, this is your practice, deep, full breaths, crescent lunge. Maybe your gaze can lift up. If this is hard for you to balance, step your feet towards the sides of your mat. So they're more on railroad tracks, not on a tightrope. That'll give you extra stability. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your left palm down and plant it on the inside of your right foot. Now spin onto the pinky side of your back foot. Awesome, now you're gonna step your right foot to stack on top of your left foot right into a side plank. So you're squeezing your core in to get there. Hike your hips up towards the ceiling. So you're pulling in your belly, Maybe your gaze is lifted towards your right hand. If you want to work a little harder, maybe you lift that top leg. Oh, yeah. Deep, full breaths. I know it's uncomfortable. If you want to bring your bottom knee down, you can do that. Beautiful. One more inhale. I know it's hard. Exhale. Step your right foot back to where it was. Now bring your right hand down. We're going to launch up off of our back leg into a warrior three. So that takes a little stability. You're gonna bring all your weight into your right foot. Slowly start to lift your back leg and then lift your hands up. Now your fingertips can reach out in front of you or maybe back behind you, you can squeeze your shoulder blades together. Think up dog in your chest though. Try not to round down. Yes, beautiful. Engage that back glute, that's your left glute so that your heel lifts higher. And feel that wobbling in your ankle that's good. That's your ankle getting stronger. That's your foot getting stronger. Engage that core and focus on one tiny little spot that's not moving. Beautiful. Now slowly step your left foot back behind you and dial your back heel down. Straighten your front leg and reach over with your left hand to grab your right wrist. Pull sky archer. So you're opening up your right side body. Deep, full breaths, look up. If you're panting and out of breath, that's okay. Maybe you start counting four seconds in and then four seconds with your exhale, trying to slow down your breath, slow down your heart. One more inhale. Now with your exhale, start to bend into your left knee, turn your left toes out just a little bit, and then come down to Skandasana, your hands at your hearts. Sometimes this feels a little bit better with your hips hiked up in that lunge, or maybe coming down low feels better for you. Maybe you get more of a stretch. Either way, pull your toes up towards your face. Hands can come to heart center. Maybe you plant your left palm down on the mat and reach your right arm up. You can also keep your hands in prayer. You do you here. Just breathe and feel the back of your right leg stretching. Where can you soften just a little bit more? One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat. And now walk your hands towards the back of your mat. So we're spinning to turn to face the back of your mat. Hands frame out your left foot. Now drop your back knee down, untuck your back toes. Inhale, reach your arms up, low lunge here. So here you're pressing your right hip forward pulling your left hip back, and then everything is sinking. Try to release your hips. You don't have to go far. You're really trying to feel this in the opening of your right psoas. Feel that stretch apart here. If you prefer tucking your back toes, you can. That actually hurts my knee, so I prefer untucking, but do what works best for you. Chest is lifted. 
Maybe you close your eyes, soften your gaze, and be with your breath. One more inhale. Exhale, your hands come down to the floor slowly. Sit your hips back into a half split. Your left toes turning up this time. You're gonna feel that in the back of your left leg. Now your hips can stay up or maybe they sit back. If you have full Hanumanasana, full splits, you can take that right now. But see where you can fold and where you can soften. There's always this duality in yoga where we're engaged and yet we're asking you to soften at the same time. So where can you have energy and where can you let go of it? Slowly start to walk your hands forward, bring weight back into your left foot. Walk your hands a little bit in front of your left foot, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee. Now start to lean forward as you kick your back leg up into a standing split. Now some people it's gonna be a standing L pose because it feels better to keep your right hip down. If you want a little hip stretch, maybe you kick your leg further up. Try to release your neck and your shoulders. Maybe your forehead comes towards your knee. If you wanna play with balance, maybe you peel one hand up off of the floor. Maybe you peel both hands up off of the floor and breathe. One more inhale, exhale, let your back foot, your right foot come back down towards the floor. Step your left foot back to meet it and vinyasa. Awesome, inhale, your left leg lifts. So every time we face the back of the mat, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee in towards your nose and step it through. Now stay back high on your back toes. Inhale, arms reach up, right into that crescent lunge. So just like in the low lunge, you're pressing your right hip forward, pulling your left hip back. Now notice if your left knee is turned in. Try to press it out as you take that deep bend. Chest is lifted. Come back to your breath. Maybe your eyes close or your gaze lifts up towards the ceiling or the sky. One more inhale. Exhale, release your right hand down towards the floor. Now you're gonna step your left foot. Your left hand can come down too, or you can always grab your left foot with your left hand. Come onto the pinky side of your back foot, and then you can open up Vashisthasana, side plank. So any variation you want here. But get those hips up high so you're really engaging your belly, you're hiking your hips up, and your left fingertips are reaching. Your left whole shoulder and arm is stacked upon your right shoulder. Maybe you lift that leg if it's not already lifted. One more inhale. Exhale, bring that foot down. Bring your left hand down and then step your left foot forward. Now we're gonna bring weight into that left foot, remember, launching up into warrior three. So you can walk your hands forward, kick your back leg up, and now peel your hands up off of the floor. That warrior three pose or airplane pose. Maybe you try something different this time. Maybe you do the same thing. And you're engaging your right glute, up dog in your chest, so a slight back bend, your chest is lifted. And breathe, focus on one small spot across the room that's not moving and focus on your breath. One more inhale. Exhale, step your back foot down, dial your back heel down. Now straighten that front leg, reach over with your right hand, grab your left wrist and pull sky archer. Try not to lock out your front knee. Keep a micro bend. Somebody might not be able to tell that you have it there, but you know, because you're engaging that thigh. Think about creating so much space that the ribs are separating on the left side. Turning your chest up towards the ceiling. Awesome. Beautiful, one more inhale. Exhale, look down at your right foot, bring your hands to your heart. Turn your right toes out just a little 
and then start to bend into your right knee. Back to Skandasana, that lunge pose. So you can get your hips up high to feel it. Sometimes I feel it more up high. So do what works best for you. If you want to sit your hips low, you can do that too. But you're opening up your right hip. So that right knee is pressing out. Right hand maybe plants and left arm reaches up. Maybe you close your eyes or your gaze just gets a little dimmer and feel your breaths going in and coming out. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Walk them towards the front of your mat so you're framing out your right foot. Bring your back knee down, tuck or untuck those back toes. Inhale, low lunge. Fingertips are reaching. Again, notice if your right knee is coming in towards your hip. You want to open it up towards the right. Again, feel that opening in your left hip. We're taught that we hold a lot of tension in our hips. Most people think it's just the shoulders, but actually... Humans, a lot of humans hold tension in your hips. So all of these hip openers are releasing that. We're taught that people cry often in hip releases, and that's not because they hurt. That's because we're letting go. One more inhale. Exhale, let your hands come down to the floor, and then sit your hips back right into that half split. Remember, you can take full Hanumanasana, full splits if you'd like and fold, getting deep into the back of your right hamstring. Right toes are pulling up towards your face. Where can you soften? Deep, full breath. Next inhale, walk your hands forward. Plant your palms in front, of your, in front of your right foot and off to the side. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee, and then hinge forward, bringing the weight into your right foot. Kick your back leg up, standing split. Remember, you can work on your balance here by grabbing your calf with one or both hands. Try to release your shoulders and your neck. Engaging that left glute, so get your heel up high. One more inhale. Exhale, let your left toes come back behind you. Plant your palms. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Vinyasa. From downward facing dog, inhale, come up high on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees and jump or step up towards the top of your mat, your feet out wide. And then let your hips sink down, malasana. Hands come to heart center. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Thumb knuckles pressed against your heart. Some people have to be up on their toes here, that's okay. Where can you drop your hips a little bit further, lifting your chest up just a little bit more? Now use your breath to slow your heart. Beautiful. Slowly start to sit your butt all the way back and then lift your legs up. We're coming into Navasana Boat Pose. Palms lifted, chest is lifted. If you need to grab behind your knees, do it. But make sure you're lifting your chest and your shoulders are pulling back. It does make the balance a little bit more tricky, but at least you're not rounding down. Try not to round your shoulders. You're pulling them back. Maybe for a little extra fire, you can straighten your legs, releasing your palms. Deep, full breaths. Exhale, come to low boat. Your shoulder blades are lifted. Your feet are lifted. Your belly is totally engaged. Inhale, back up to high bow. Exhale, low bow. 
Remember, we're using that core. It's okay that it's uncomfortable that you're shaking. Inhale, high bow. Exhale, low boat, hold it. Now release down onto your back. Lift your legs up. Feet are facing the ceiling. Now reach your hands towards your feet. Get your shoulder blades up. Squeeze your belly in. Try to flex your feet here. Now make fists with your hands. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. And in your hands, I want you to picture something in your life that is not working. Whatever it is, something in your life that's not working, something you want to fix, squeeze your hands, squeeze your fists together. Picture whatever it is disintegrating in your fist as you squeeze, crumbling. Get your chest up higher. Get your shoulder blades up. Squeeze your fists. One more inhale. Exhale, open up your hands. Release your back down. Watch it float away. You want to close your eyes or release all the way down onto your back. You can. You can give your belly a little massage. And just be here for a moment. Deep, full, complete breaths in and out. Bring your feet to the floor, knees pointed up towards the ceiling. Palms come down towards the mat, pressing down. With your inhale, lift your hips up. Coming into bridge pose, you can shimmy your shoulders under your back. Maybe you interlace your fingers and push your hips up towards the ceiling. So we just engaged our core, we created muscle, right? We tightened, we shortened the muscle. Now we are elongating the muscle in our belly. One more inhale. Exhale, release down onto your back. One more back bend. If you have full wheel in your practice, you can take that now, bringing your hands up next to your ears, fingertips facing your heels. If you want to stick with bridge pose, what we just did, let's do it one more time. Inhale, lift, whatever back bend you want. Maybe you shimmy your shoulders and you interlace your fingers that weird way again. One more inhale, lift a little higher. If you're in full wheel, press your chest between your arms. Maybe you start to straighten your elbows. One more inhale and then exhale, release down onto your back. Inhale, lift your legs back up. You can stay like this, rocking side to side, massaging your lower back into the floor. Or if you'd like to rock up onto your shoulders, you can do that right now using your hands under your lower back to support you. Pushing the balls of your feet directly above you, squeezing your tush in. Try not to pike yet. So we're still engaging our belly, squeezing everything. One more inhale. Exhale, maybe you release your toes overhead into plow pose. Once your toes touch, you can release the back with your hands, let the hands come down. It's important to keep with your breath here. Try not to hold your breath. I know it's easy. This pose is so good for digestion and for your organs. Every time we fold, we're compressing. We're squeezing the organs. And then when we open up, we release new blood into the organs, into the joints. If you'd like to release your knees to either ear, you can. Give your head a little squeeze. Keep breathing and know it's hard. Inhale, slowly start to straighten your legs and roll onto your back. So even if you were just in that L pose, roll all the way down onto your back. Now let's take one deep full stretch. So with your inhale, reach your arms up overhead, point your toes towards the front of your mat. Exhale, bring your knees in towards your chest and start to rock and roll the length of your mat. So do at least three rocks. Think about it massaging your back. Once you get up, if you want to try to catch a crow or shoot it back, take a vinyasa. You can also just come up onto your feet, come to all fours, and step right back to downward dog. So you do what's best for you here. 
Awesome. Inhale, your right leg lifts high to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose. Now swing your right knee behind your right wrist. Your right foot comes behind your left wrist, setting up for half pigeon. Now for some people, doing this on your back is a little bit easier. You can do that too. If you're on your back, you'll take it up as a figure four. Okay, good, we got some takers. Okay, so if you are in this position, so inhale, lift your chest up. Maybe you squeeze your thighs together. Exhale, slowly start to walk your hands forward and release your chest down. For those of you on your back in that figure four, hook your right ankle over your left knee, reach your right arm in between your legs, your left arm comes around your left leg, interlace your fingers, and then pull your left thigh close to your chest. So you're using your right elbow to open up your hip. No matter what, you're both, both variations are getting a deep right hip opening. Now, if you are in this variation facing down in the half pigeon and you don't feel it enough in your hips, try to kick your right foot up towards the left corner of your mat. So you're actually making your shin parallel to the top of your mat. That's a great way to get deep into that hip opening. Again, where can you soften here? Are there muscles in your hips holding on? Use your breath to release them. Notice if you're a little bit fidgety, where can you start to find stillness? Where can you quiet the mind? Start to walk your hands in towards your shin. And now lean onto your right hip. If you're still on your back, you can stay right on your back and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do. Slowly move to your right hip and then swing your left leg around. So your left leg is extended out in front of you. Your right thigh is in, your right foot is in towards your left thigh. Inhale, oh, okay, or you can come up. But if you're on your back, I'll show you a way to do it on your back. Inhale, arms reach out. And then exhale, hinge forward. Try to keep your back straight as you lean forward. Try not to round down. And then pull your toes up towards your face. So you can really feel that in the back of your calf. So if you are on your back, you can just extend your left leg long and pull it towards your face. Doesn't have to go far. So you can stay on your back this whole time. Slowly start to walk your hands in. And we're just going to switch out our legs. So if you're on your back, just switch legs. So this time your right leg straightens. If you're sitting, your left foot is pressing to the inside of your right thigh. 
Inhale, reach your arms up, look up, and then exhale, fold. Remember keeping that length, pulling your right toes up towards your face, and try to release your shoulders, your neck, and let yourself fold, melt towards the floor. Slowly start to walk your hands in. If you're on your back, you can stay on your back. Now keeping your left shin towards the top of your mat, lean onto your left hip and then swing your right leg back behind you. If you wanna be on your back, this time you're just hooking your left ankle over your right thigh and interlacing your fingers, pulling your thighs in. If you're doing the regular pigeon pose, Walk your hands in, lift your chest with your inhale, create space, and then exhale, walk your hands forward and fold. Half pigeon or sleeping pigeon. Notice if you have a tendency to roll onto your left hip and actually gently try to press your right hip down instead. Start to walk your hands in towards your shin. Press your palms into the floor. If you're on your back, stay on your back. If not, lean onto your left hip, swing your right leg back around, bend both of your knees, and slowly roll onto your back. So everybody is on their backs. Next, inhale, bring your right knee in towards your chest. Maybe do some circles with it. You can roll out your ankle. And then exhale, guide your right knee across your body using your left hand. Open up your right arm long and take a twist, turning your head towards the right. Supine twist. Try to let your shoulders melt towards the floor. Inhale, roll back onto your back. Give your right knee another squeeze. And then exhale, send it long. Inhale, your left knee comes in. Maybe you take some circles. Maybe you pull it towards your armpit. And then with your next exhale, using your right hand, guide it across your body to the right. And then open your left arm long. Turn your head to the left. Again, you can shimmy your right hip a little bit closer underneath your left hip if that serves you. Try to melt your shoulders down towards the floor. And notice that each side is different. So what you feel on the right is not gonna be what you feel on the left and that's okay. We are not symmetrical. It's totally normal for one side to feel different. Just notice it. And slowly roll back onto your back. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Give it another squeeze. And then exhale, release it down. You've made it to Shavasana. Feet towards the corners of your mat. Arms away from your body. Palms up to receive the energy of the room. 
or maybe palms down to ground you if you're feeling a little bit up in the clouds and you need some rooting. And soften your gaze or close your eyes and let that whole practice just get absorbed within you. Find complete rest here. So releasing your body, releasing your mind, and just releasing your breath, letting it all be. Slowly start to bring some awareness back into the room. Notice your bones, the heaviness pulling down towards the mat. Notice the air on your skin. Maybe you check in and notice how different you feel from when you started what feels softer, what feels more relaxed. And then let your breath start to deepen. Maybe you wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, you roll out your wrists, your ankles. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, point your toes towards the front of the mat, take a full body stretch. Exhale, bring your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself this moment of love, of self-love. It's a real hug here. Thank yourself for showing up today, for giving yourself this time. You did good. Slowly roll onto your right or your left side, whatever side you need right here. You can use your bicep as a pillow. And think about how you've just relieved stress in your body, in your mind, and how you're going to take that with you for the rest of the day.
Using your hands, push your way up to a comfortable seat. Eyes stay closed or your gaze softened. Hands come to heart center. Thumb knuckles pressed against your sternum. Let's take a deep breath together right here. Inhale deeply through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Let's do one more just like that. Inhale deeply through your nose, then hold it at the top. Sip in more air. Sip in a little more air, hold it. Open your mouth, let it go. You are loved, you are brave, and you are enough. The love and light within me honors and respects the love and light within you. And it is with this love and light that we are all connected. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. My name is Marin, and that was a vinyasa flow. You can unmute yourself if you would like to chat or if you